Charles is asking, have you got an example of an, a nationalised industry that's operated well? Yeah, in loads of them, in, in loads of countries. No, this no, no, no. country. UK. I mean, the NHS. You think that's operating what? well? It's starved of money in there and it's, it uh, not, part, uh, and it's part private. No, I'm sorry. But, um, the, the, but, the National but, Health yes, Service the NHS is, is not... The National Health Service, let's just get something straight. The GDP, the amount of money we spend on the NHS is 13% of GDP. We spend the same amount of money here as Germany does and about the same as France. They all have what's called mixed provision. Germany has 60% more doctors than we have in the NHS. France, with its mixed provision, has about 25 to 30% more doctors. So you're talking frontline staff and they run much more efficiently. So we know the, the problem with the NHS. It is too unwieldy. It is 1.4 million people work within that system and operationally it is just too difficult the, to manage. The, the and exact these, opposite. It is not problem. about. No, it is not about. It's not about um, some of the staff that work there. It is. It is uh, predominantly the, the majority of people are in management roles or administrative roles. And what it needs to do, it needs a complete restructuring, and it needs to be operationally. Um, it needs much quicker on the spot, because it just can't continue the, like this. The, How can we have seven million people on a waiting list? The, the, I mean, the, it's ridiculous. The problem within the NHS is precisely the fragmentation, the uh, bogus internal market, the part Oh, that's complete nonsense. No, it isn't. No, it that is, nonsense. That, that, is, that is what... You have, you're still that... living in 1948 when it was set up, and it's not... A, it, can, it cannot be... A, a, an organisation that size cannot live, you know, 50 years ago. We have moved on, moved on very, very quickly. But let, and him, let him respond. No other him. country has got a system the same as this for a very, very good reason, because it's just not able to be, to be run efficiently for, for the needs of the patient. James it, was... it would be run far more efficiently at the needs of the patient if it was fully brought into public ownership... We didn't have it's the public. if we didn't have the internal marketing, if we didn't have uh, false competition, if we had the full you know using the full range. Where's of the, the false competition? The, mon the monopoly the competition? power that you have. If you have the contracting out in no, of where, GP surgery, you have Virgin Health and other private well, healthcare providers Do taking doctors money don't, out. Doctors don't are not employed by the NHS. Doctors are contracted anyway. They did that when they, when the National Health came about in 1948. Mm. Doctors are not employees of the NHS. Nurses and others I'm are employees. Of, so there are different structures in any event. I mean, why, for example, when they're looking at drugs, procurement, why aren't they procuring for the entire nation? They don't. They all work in separate ways. The, the yes, structure because of the, the NHS, when you're looking at it, it's so top-down with all of these various organisations like NHS trusts and various committees yeah, here. Which were I mean, they seem to have more and more... Excuse me. They need to have no. more and more meetings because then they can di decide when the next meeting is. And they don't get the solutions right. We've looked at the horrendous things in the maternity um, services, in some of these hospitals. I mean... Some of the things that are coming out, the budget just to deal with medical negligence claims is absolutely extortionate. There, is, there are clearly inherent issues on the efficiency and the running and the safety of the National Health Service, yeah. and they have to be addressed. James? It, I mean, it sounds like you're, uh, you're agreeing with me, which is fantastic. We have um, 43... That is broken up in 2012. They broke the NHS up into 43... Still, it's still 43, an NHS. 43, Hang on, 43, let They, brought, they, they broke it up into done. 43 different units, which is... Uh, well, I mean, creates greater inequality. It's inefficient in exactly the, the ways you're, you're suggesting. Part of the strength of working, of working together as one purchaser for things, which we're doing for, for health, means that we can have lower prices for medical machinery. We can have lower prices they're not. for, for they're drugs. They're not working as one across the, across because the country. That was, because that was undone well, by it. this government.